and we'd like to begin with the presentation of the color guard. Can we please stand? If we can please recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everyone, and thank you all for attending this afternoon. And please forgive me if I'm a tad uh, rusty at this. This is my first time doing it, so I'm going to try not to, again, follow my son's advice not to screw it up. So I appreciate that. As you all know, we are here for the swearing in for Dr. Deb White, uh, third ward council member elect. I'd like to take a few moments before we swear her in to talk a little bit about how I know Deb and how she will be an asset to our community in her role as third ward council member. Now, <clears throat> I've known Dr. White now, I think, for about four or five years. Uh, I'm an adjunct professor in the sociology and criminal justice department at MSUM. So in meeting her, I knew right away that I was going to fit in in that group because she was a person who was passionate about her work in the community. Now, <clears throat> most of you probably do not know, but the reason why, part of the reason why I'm standing here today is because Dr. White was one of the first people to say, you know, you should consider running for public office. And I'm like, I, think I blew her off for a while because I thought <laughs> it was a joke. And then, you know, last year she started being more persistent <laughs> which, again, I think is a good thing. That's why I'm standing. So thank you, Dr. White, for empowering me to be standing in front of you all today. But more important than that, <clears throat> 600 above and beyond, 600 women, because of Dr. White's efforts through her leadership in the new leadership uh, Northern Lights program are also empowered to go out and lead in their communities. 600 and growing. You have been a community leader far before taking this oath today. And it's your efforts that has made and changed the lives of many women in their local communities because of your voice, your passion, and your leadership. It is an honor and a privilege that you are now going to take that, take that to the next level and serve our city. You are going to be an asset on this council for the women who you have led and empowered before this point and for the city that you will be representing and all of its residents. So thank you for your service to our community. Enough of me talking. 
<laughs> Dr. White, would you please stand? Now, you're mic'd up. I think so. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Dr. White, if you could recite after me. I, Deb White. I, Deb White. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support the Constitution of the United States. To support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Minnesota. The Constitution of the State of Minnesota. The Moorhead City Charter. The Moorhead City Charter. And to discharge faithfully. And to discharge faithfully. The duties of the office. The duties of the office of third ward council of third ward council member of the city of Moorhead member of the city of Moorhead Minnesota Minnesota <laughs> I'm cutting myself off here <laughs> to the best of my judgment to the best of my judgment and ability and ability so help me God so help me God Hopefully, I did forget to raise the right hand. So does that invalidate anything? <laughs> Again, I won't forget next time. So, uh, Dr. White, would you wish to say uh, a few words? I'll, I'll keep this brief and just say what a, what a privilege it is uh, to be able to serve in this new capacity. I've lived in Moorhead for about 20 years, and I can't think of a better place that I'd want to live and raise my family. It's given so much to us, and um, just to be able to give back in this new way, and, and also knowing how many great people are already serving our community, and the opportunity and the privilege to work with all of you means so much to me. So I'm looking forward to this new phase of my uh, involvement in Moorhead. Thank you so much. Thanks for all of you for coming.